Hi everybody, this is Nick, and this is the demonstration of the J1772 Hydra. Uh, it's in a special box that I made that will let you charge two cars with one car charger, but do it safely. I've seen rigs where people have taken the uh, J1772 connector and plugged it into an inlet with the hardwired components to turn the charger on and then just had it run to electric outlets. and. Yeah, that works, but then it's on you to make sure that you don't draw too much power from the, the charging station, that you blow the fuse and other things like that. Um, this uh, is designed to do this uh, in a way that's safe and uh, will work without risking uh, either damage to the car or the charging station. So it's turned off right now. It's, it's, it's the, the design of it is up here. There's a uh, J1772 inlet, or socket, as it's called. And then there's a cord here for car B and a cord here for car A. A little display down here that's going to light up. Now, I'm going to start by taking this plug and plugging it in to a charging station. It's an ordinary, run-of-the-mill charging station. Um, unfortunately, with this camera, I don't think the display is going to come out very well. Uh, but the first line of the display uh, has an indication of how much power you're allowed to get from the source EV, uh, EVSE. And it says there that this charging station is giving 29.6 amps. Um, and the display is green, which means that there's no cars connected right now. So there's A and then just dashes and then B and dashes. So I'm going to go plug uh, the, the A cable into my car. Okay, and my car has uh, accepted that and started charging uh, the car. Um, the display down here for car A on this side shows an ammeter, so you can see how much power the car is drawing. And right now it's hovering at around 27.3 amps, maybe a little more, 27.45, something like that, out of the 29.6 that the EV is offering. Um, so that's all well and good. Um, what this device is going to do, the magic, is that um, one of the signals that's sent from a charging station to a car is how much power is available for the car to take. And when I connect the second car up, uh, the Hydra is going to divide that power into two so that both cars will have an equal amount of power, half of what the incoming power from the, the charging station is offering. So. I'm not going to show you how to do this on camera because I don't want people uh, poking stuff uh, into their electric car charging handles. Uh, but I'm going to simulate, because I only have one car, I'm going to simulate connecting car B up to a second electric car. This is one of those don't try this at home moments. So we do that, and um, the second car has gone to charging immediately. But you'll notice there was a little bit of a delay before the relay kicked on to give it power. And that's because um, you have to, to tell the first car that the amount of power that's available has, is now being reduced. Uh, so you see now the first car has dropped down to 15 amps out of the 29 that's available. And car B is being offered the other 15 amps. Now, it's not taking it because it's not really a car. Um, but, uh, but there you are. So it will continue to split the, the, the power. Now you might ask yourself, well, why bother? Why would you divide the power in half for two cars? It's just going to take those two cars exactly as much time to charge at half speed as if you charged one at full speed and then charge the other one. Well, the advantages to the Hydra are that no one has to sit around and wait for the first car to finish charging and immediately move the handle to the second one. They're both plugged in, they're both charging, they're both getting something out of being plugged in. The second thing is that some cars only charge at 3 kilowatts. Uh, volts, Leafs, plug-in um, Priuses, those only have 3 kilowatt chargers. So when they plug into most level 2 EVSEs out in the public, which are 30 amp units, 7 kilowatt units, 
they're only using those charging stations at half speed anyway. The other half is available for another leaf to share. Um, so that's the other advantage is that you can use the full output of an EVSC um, for two cars at once. And that saves the next EVSC over for a, a car that maybe can use the full power. So I'm going to simulate now removing the second car. And you can see now, well, maybe you can't see because you can't read the display, but almost immediately the second, the, the first car jumps back up to 27.5 amps, once again resuming the full power charging since the second car is now gone. So there you have it. Um, this is a sub-project of the OpenEVSE project, uh, kind of, sort of. Uh, it's open hardware. Anybody who wants to can build their own Hydra. The plans and the software are available for download from the Internet. Um, thank you for uh, listening. Bye now.